Laura Nativo is here to tell us what's absolutely not okay for our dogs to eat, and in some cases can even be lethal. So is it okay to give your dog human food or not? Yes, it is. I'm a big proponent of healthy, real human food for dogs, but in moderation. And there are certain foods that are safe and that are actually better than some of the commercial foods that are out there, but there are also some that can possibly be lethal. So that's what we're going to talk about today is all of this delicious barbecue food. What can you share and what do you I will tell you, Fred would eat everything on this table. <laughs> yes, he, he would. I'm not joking. Yeah. He would and if Delilah wasn't trained, she would be up here. Yeah, they don't know. So they can't tell said. like this is bad for them. You know, some animals can be like, yeah, they'll just stay away from certain things. Exactly. They'll eat. They'll they eat just it. smell it. All right, well, that's let's get started. Let's go through some of the So I'm going to ask you guys, guessing game, I'm going to go through each food and I want you to tell me if you think it's good or bad. Bad. So let's start with these delicious grapes. No. I say yes, it's okay for your dog. I'm yes. no. it's okay. I'm gonna go with the one-year-old child. No, it's not safe because it could be a choking hazard. All right. With a dog? With a dog? <laughs> Dogs a choke. Dog? They've got throats. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. okay. What so, about those big hard nuggets <laughs> they eat off of those uh, bags? Okay. Right. It's right. not because it's a choking hazard, although it can be with small dogs. Grapes, as well as raisins, are going to go into our bad category because in high doses, <laughs> these, right, Delilah is very angry, they can actually lead to kidney failure. So oh, really? those are going oh. in our bad box. Oh. Now, I've seen people feed them grapes. I know, and a lot of people don't know. So hopefully after watching today, there's right. no more grapes and raisins. Okay, next. Let's go now over to uh, watermelon. Hmm. Hmm. I, I don't know. Good. I love it's just yes, water. It's water. Right. Yeah. Water I, I have to say yes. Yeah. It's yes. good. Yes. Good, good, good? Yes. yes. Ding, ding, ding. We All are right. correct. Yeah. Wow. Watermelon, as long yeah. as you take the rind off and you take the seeds out, you can actually give some Delilah. to Delilah if you Here want. Delilah. We'll put that in our good. He's eating and you can Delilah. also include berries, which are really Celine. yummy. <laughs> And peaches are great too. Oh. You just want to make sure that you Ooh, remove okay. the pit because the pit can be yeah. a choking hazard. Okay. Right. So we're going to put this in our good wait. category. Okay. Now, how you about. You said berries. I see strawberries. 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 Go, they go over here. They go here. Our good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go over to mm, corn on the cob. What do you think? Mm, I don't know if the cob's good for them, but don't they put like corn s s in everything? Yeah. Yeah, they corn put corn be, in but everything. The cob is the thing that How do they eat it like good? But I have heard that <laughs> corn is filler, <laughs> that maybe it's not good in the food. You ever think I'm going to go okay. with Debbie. I don't not love good. corn as an ingredient, but especially the cob oh, part. Yeah. A lot of times this ends up in the trash, so you want to try to put it in some type of dog safe container oh, so that is completely safe so from so, so, wait, 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 because they can choke We have a question. Yeah, so is corn okay to eat, but not the cob? So is corn... A, a, a tiny bit of corn, corn but it's not okay. one of my favorite. A lot uh, of these foods are it, so much better. Is it just because it's lacking in nutrition, or...? Lacking in nutrition, and it's a carb, sugar. It's okay, really, there's no it. nutritious value yeah, for dogs. Okay, okay. okay so we're going to go hurt. next. Right. One of my favorites. Let's go to cherries. I'm going to put it in the category of the grape and especially the pit. So I don't know. Yeah, I could I'm going to go with I no. I would think the they could get diarrhea from those. I'm I'm just, go ahead. I'm going to say yes, wondering. but you have to de pit them, which is far too much work for a dog, so no. no. I'm going to say oh, cherries are good for them because they're good for your blood. Oh, ah! <laughs> no taking that. Okay, cherries can actually lead, and large quantities can lead to cyanide toxicity. Oh, that's that's bad. Let's, bad. let's put this over here. That is not okay. going to be a dog sitting for wow. me. Wow. That's way over there. So we're going to go with yummy chicken wings. Oh, I can say no. no. The bones. The bones. No. If yeah. you take it off the bone, fine. No. Well, with all the sugar and stuff on the barbecue. We're going to say. Overall, chicken wings, no good because of the sauce, because of the high fat content, but especially because of the bones. <laughs> Yes, yes Delilah. Delilah. She goes, I don't them. like them because <laughs> cooked bones can actually splinter, and yes. if the dogs swallow them whole, it can create yeah. an internal obstruction. So these are not good. If you take a little bit of the, the meat out and you mm. lick it and pat it down, maybe, but let's put these in our bad category. Do we lick it before we put it in our bowl? I do. Kind of like, I hand it to them. I use it as a training treat. Okay. Uh, let's go over to oh, the bird. Bird. Feeding them all. All right. What do we think? Uh, we've got a chicken patty as well as some steak. Yes, 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 yes. 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 And yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. Yay. Yes. This yes. is one of my favorites. Here we have delicious lean meat. Now, this is something you want to feed in moderation, depending on how big or small your dog is. <laughs> Yes, Delilah's like, may I have some? Come so Delilah, if she sits and lays down nicely, Aww. she can have some. And we're going to put Lay this down. into our good. Lay down. They're a good girl. Oh, good girl. Now, how about, uh, let's see, what do we have? Let's hot go dogs. hot dogs. You talked about that. You were just good saying girl. that when they're whole and they could choke on it, but you, it's all right to splinter it. 
It's, I mean, to just pieces. give them in little pieces. pieces. Tiny pieces. We're going to put them in our bad category because? just because of the high fat okay. content and if you swallow them whole. Okay. But they're okay. If you just really cautious. tiny amounts, a lot of times we use them for training treatment. Now, I would use, too, so like I would use that to put sometimes for if I give pills, pills and medicine and I can wedge it in put there. Them in. Absolutely. So that's what I would that, use. Those okay. can be, hot dogs can be great for Fair. training, but just not yep. as a whole. All right, so next, chips and guac. Well, that's borderline nachos. That's borderline no good. No, the guac no, has I'm onions stuck. in it. It's going to be upsetting to the dog's stomach. I'm yeah. not okay with it. The way Delilah's looking All right, down. Delilah, this is a no. This is a pow pow because our <laughs> chips have a lot of salt. Uh, and, and that's not good right. for the dogs, but our guacamole contains avocado as well as uh, garlic and onion, onion, which are not good ingredients avocado for the dogs. Avocado's not good. Avocado's not good. The, especially the skin, but in, yeah. in general, oh, okay. we're going to stay away from avocado. Wow. Okay. So we're going to put this that in our bad category. But well, this is and a now, whole barbecue happening. I know, I know. Okay, now let's go over to everybody's no. favorite. No. 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 Dessert. No. 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 Yes. No. Everybody. No. Chocolate. Now, why is chocolate not good for the dog? Chocolate is really high in theobromine and caffeine, and especially dark chocolate, pure raw dark chocolate, is not good. But in general, we want to stay away from chocolate chip cookies, brownies. What will happen to your dog if they get too much chocolate? You can That's see a lot of times they get really hyper, and that's like kind of the first yeah. sign that they yeah. have right. poisoning, but you want to oh. make sure you get them to the vet right away really? because they no. may need to have an IV, oh. um, and sometimes wow. dogs serious. have, have passed if they have a lot of chocolate in a high quality. Sure. So I just so once ate an entire tea, chocolate right? pie at Thanksgiving. I went out yeah. to say goodbye to people and I came back oh, and, oh. and jumped on Was the, it okay? He, he was a chocolate lab and he was totally fine. Yeah. It wow. was a chocolate lab. Oh, Shake. Good stuff. Good. All right. So basically we have the raisins, Something. the grapes, and the chocolate right now. Chocolate. No, no, no. Pineapple, Pineapple is going good. Yeah. Apple's good. Banana's good. Fatty burger. Not no good. good. So Voila! Yeah.